I got rid of all my hair. Okay, so uh, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, 29th vlog of the year. We're nearing the end of the first month of a year full of vlogs, and that's exciting. Um, two questions you may have right now. One, why the hell are you up at 6 a.m.? Which is a very valid question. And two, an even more valid question, why did you get rid of all of your hair? Well, it was sort of an accident. Uh, it's an interesting story, and I'll get into that in a second. Um, but first, let me set it up with how my Sunday has gone. Because my Sunday has been full of work, and originally I thought it would be a day of relaxation and Half-Life 2 and fun and maybe Skyrim. I uh, Skyrim's been on the back burner. I've been doing other stuff. Anyway. So uh, I wake up around 2 o'clock because, you know, it's the weekend. It's, uh, I get to sleep in. I, didn't set, I personally didn't set my alarm because I was like, oh, I've got nothing to do today. And so, um, yeah. So I wake up and there's all these emails from people that are on my uh, team for National Advertising Competition, which I mentioned a couple times before. And uh, we've already met three times this week. Uh, and, like, two times outside of our... Uh, um, our, I just got another email. It's probably from them. <laughs> uh, outside of our, you know, usual class time on Tuesday nights. And uh, I had no idea that there was a fourth meeting actually today. I had no idea. So I wake up at 2 o'clock and I'm like, what am I going to do with my day? The possibilities are endless. And I check my phone and I have all these emails like, I'll be there in five minutes. And I was like, what? You know, from all these people on my uh, ad team. And then I was like, and I was like, well, maybe it's some subgroup meeting, but why am I getting, you know? And then there was one guy who said, like, I'll be a little bit, I'm going to be there in five, you know? And I was like, oh, that guy's on, you know, my subgroup. And uh, then I figured out, reverse burp, I figured out that we had a meeting scheduled today from one until five. And I completely just, it didn't, because we we have so many meetings, I just didn't, I don't know. I, I must have lost track of this one. And then, like, once I realized, I was like, oh, right, right, today, ah. Because we just met last night for a social activity. We went and played laser tag. Um, yeah, I think I already mentioned that uh, I came in 16 out of 17. Which shouldn't come to any surprise to people who have seen my gameplay videos. <laughs> uh, well, I, I was killing it towards the end, but I, I started off really slow. Because I, I don't know, I hadn't played laser tag in like 10 years, so, you know. By that time, I had been shot 100,000 times, and I was in the negatives, and it was hard to get out of it. Uh, anyway, so, and I did beat one guy. So, there you go. It was guys against girls, 7 on 7. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so, what was I... And so, yeah, all the girls beat me. Is that That's what you were thinking just now. You were like, so if you came out of 16 out of 17 and you beat a guy, that means all the girls beat you. Yeah, they did. Whatever. You know what? I, I took it easy on <laughs> I'm just kidding. They schooled me. They're really good. Anyway, nothing more attractive than a woman that can kick your ass in sports. I don't, I don't ascribe to that. And where was I? Oh, yeah, so I show up to the meeting at 3 o'clock because like at first I was like I'm not gonna go and then I was like oh shit I have to go and so I walk in my professor was like John where you been and I was like I thought this meeting was at 3 and then he didn't laugh and he told me to sit down and that it was unacceptable and I was like it won't happen again and he was like I know it won't he's a nice guy he's not like that's unacceptable he was just like that's unacceptable that should never happen <laughs> If this was a job, you'd be fired. And I wanted to say, if this was a job, I wouldn't be coming in on a Sunday afternoon. But I didn't say that. So, you know, because you can't be snarky. And I was just joking when I said just now. Just in case he ever sees this. <laughs> Which he won't. But, uh, anyway, so that's... Uh, until 5 o'clock, I was like... You know, I was at this meeting. And uh, then we, we, we looked at paper. Anyway. We looked at paper. John, do you like this paper? Yeah, it's cool. John, what about this paper? Yeah, it's cool too. Anyway, I had all my hair at this meeting. So about 5 o'clock, I was like, well, I'm hungry. So I went and ate. And then I was like, my day is gone. And then I still had to do this. Uh, I'm doing a t-shirt design that's due tomorrow for this other university that I don't attend. 
but um, I'm gonna get money for it. It's like a graphic design job, like a real one. Anyway, so um, yeah, I was work. I started working on that about 11:30 or so. And I was like, oh, I should probably make this T-shirt that's gonna be worn by hundreds of people and <laughs> that they need tomorrow, and it's going to be printed on Wednesday. And so uh, I sent uh, uh, this this girl um, who works for this other university. Uh, I emailed her the rough concept, and she she uh, she ended up she emailed me back, and then I ended up calling her because I was like I need more specific information. And so then I spent about four hours um, editing it uh, into perfection, and now it looks awesome. I made a custom font for it. I am so proud of myself. Uh, basically all I did was I took impact and then I added some stuff from media militia on it and so it's custom <laughs> whatever because like uh, she was looking at it and she she wanted me to use like birth of a hero which is like a really overused band font or like some other stuff and she was like birth of a hero looks really good and I was like don't use birth of a hero please God and so I was <laughs> and so I, I did impact and she was like, I think it needs to look more interesting, and I was like, okay, I'll add stuff to it. Ugh. Anyway, so that's why I'm up until 6 a.m. Why did I get rid of my hair? Well, I was going to cut it short, and I ended up like, uh, my buzzer got jammed, and so I took the guard off to clean it out, and uh, once I did that, I started, you know, doing it again. And uh, I realized that I didn't have the guard on, and so that's why it's this short. Uh, but, um, I was gonna cut off most of it anyway, so then I was like, fuck it, and, uh, I actually had my, my friend, uh, James do all of it, so that's why my hair is gone, I just got tired of it, it gets to a certain point where you just get tired of it, and it, it, you know, if you're, if you're a girl, you're probably like, ah, pansy, but let me, let me tell you what, uh, but most of the women that I know, um, they, you know, they have really long hair. The thing is, though, like, uh, when you have, like, hair at about a certain length, it gets, like, in your eyes, and that gets, or, like, right on your eyebrow, and that gets really annoying. Because, like, I've had my hair really long before, and, like, once it gets past the eyes, you're fine. Like, I don't know. I never had a problem with it once it was past there, but there's, like, a danger zone, like, right here, where it's just like, oh, get the fuck off me, you know? So I just couldn't take any more, and bzzz, so it's gone. And now I look like an Aryan supremacist, so, or the lead singer of Demon Hunter. Either way, you want to look at it. <laughs> uh, Demon Hunter is a good Christian band. Sounds like an oxymoron, but Demon Hunter is the band that got me into metal music. So there you go, and I still like them. You know, you know what? Fuck you. I like Demon Hunter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm not just kidding about liking Demon Hunter, I'm just kidding about the fuck you part. That I was saying to no one. I was saying to the person in the back who was like, Demon Hunter's not metal. Uh, they've only had one bad album, and that was the, the Triptych, the third album. That was bad. I, all the other ones are good. I recommend them. Um, anyway, I think my favorite song by them is Collapsing, because it has the lead singer of Soil Work, uh, Bjorn Speed Strid on it, and he's probably one of my favorite vocalists of all time. It's really good. Just freaking check it out. Good lord. What's, why are you still here? Collapsing. Demon Hunter. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, next vlog will not be at 6 in the morning. I promise. It'll be more like 12 hours from now. Oh, God. I have a social event to go to tomorrow night. They're all going to see me with no hair, and uh, there's going to be girls there. Oh, well. I don't care. I don't care. Don't. Does this look like the face of somebody who cares? No. You know what? I make these vlogs pointlessly long just so I can say stupid shit. <laughs> They're... There's no reason for them to be this long. It's not like I'm filling it with content. I'm just like, this is like a face of someone who cares. <laughs> it's just a waste of time. I don't know why I'm doing it. Okay. We're going to get under 10 minutes.
Are you ready for this? Right now.